Hi, Gators. I didn't see you guys there. I am the one that wears hats. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's why I'm always quiet. I don't always wear my sassy pants, but when I do, I wear them classy. Don't judge me. I was born to be awesome, not perfect. If I was meant to be controlled, I would have come with a remote. I think if everybody ate IHOP a lot more, we'd all be a lot happier. I don't need an introduction. Okay, no, but really. You guys know about our TPT group, right? Well, apparently they've been making some major moves lately. And here's some info on what's going on in TPT. A few weeks ago, Centenary hosted its first annual regional high school theater festival. It was a weekend full of performances and workshops taught by professors and students at Centenary College. Four high schools attended and competed. Captain Shreve, Loyola, Green Oaks, and Caddo Magnet. Captain Shreve's very own TPT won best performance and was awarded this glorious first place trophy. Caddo Magnet and Green Oaks were awarded a runner-up trophy. And Loyola won best ensemble and received two free passes to Louisiana Tech's stage combat workshop in April. Captain Shreve's TPT will take this show to District Literary Rally and State Literary Rally, where we will win. We are very proud of our theater performance team. Go Gators! Welcome to Impact! Are you looking for a place to worship with people your age? Come to Impact. Impact is a weekly youth worship night held at Broadmoor Baptist Church for high school students. Impact is a great environment filled with song, live music, and devotion with students just like you. Join us at 7.30 on Wednesday nights at 4110 Yuri Drive. We can't wait to see you there. Yo, I'm super psyched to be a Shreve Gator right now. And if you want to know why, it's because we had several people get recognized at NSU not too long ago for, well, for just about everything. Here's some more information on our Scholastic winners. On February 21st, 2015, students from Captain Shreve High School attended the award ceremony for the Scholastic Writing Awards hosted by the Northwestern State University Writing Project. The Alliance for Young Artists and Writers is a nonprofit organization that sponsors the awards annually. The Scholastic Art and Writing Awards is the nation's largest, longest-running scholarship and recognition program for teenage artists and writers. For 90 years, the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards has been the permanent showcase for student creativity. The North Central Louisiana Writing Region is in its fifth year as an affiliate for the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards and recognizes students who demonstrate willingness to experiment with writing as young artists. Entries are scored by jurors on originality, technical skill, and personal voice. In this year's award ceremony, 34 students from Captain Shreve demonstrated their advanced technical skill command of language, personal writing voice, and originality, boasting 19 honorable mentions, 15 silver key winners, and two gold key winners. Gold key winners Mary Catherine Fertitta and C Samantha Hilburn submitted works in the memoir category. Angelica Lucy Roth was also recognized as a gold key winner for the photography category in the scholastic arts. Good job, Gators! So, a lot of you guys are going down to Natchitoches tomorrow for the District of Literary Rally. Yay! Literary Rally is an academic competition held at a district and a state level. There's also a performance portion for choir and theater groups. Teachers send students to show off their academic prowess. And if students do well enough on the tests they take or during the performances, they move on to the state competition held at LSU Baton Rouge. For those of you actually going to rally, make sure to be here early tomorrow. The buses load at 6.30 and leave at 6.45. To those of you taking a test, good luck. For the performers, break a leg. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just looking for my prom date. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, that was horrible. No, but really, prom is coming up. And if you want some more information on how to get your tickets for that wonderful night, here's Jackson with stuff on prom. What's up Gators? So guess what? Prom is right around the corner on April 18th. We got the Gators with Gatsby prom. So tickets are on sale right now. They're $20 in advance. However, $25 at the gate. 
Now, where can you get them? You can get them from Ms. Doty in room A213, okay, that's uh, before and after school and on second lunch shift. Otherwise, you can get them from Ms. Wilford at first lunch shift in the library. So get them now before they run out. See how I got some getters. You guys want to know what drives me? When people use the wrong form of a word. Like, not too long ago, this dude takes me trying to lay down his, you know, game or whatever. And he was like, yeah, I would take you to the market. Brother man said, take you T-W-O, the market. I bet you can guess who didn't get a text back. Hello. Today we will be addressing commonly misused words, such as your, your, their, their, and their. Let's get started with your, Y-O-U-R. This represents possession. For example, your cat is ugly. Your grandma has bad breath. See how that works? Moving on to the next form of your, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. This is a contraction for you are. For example, you're ugly. You're an incompetent student. See how that works? The first one is T-H-E-R-E. -E. For example, over there I saw a unicorn. Oh look, over there is where I fell down the stairs last week. That's unfortunate, Ashley. Okay, moving on. The second form of there is T-H-E-I-R. This shows possession. For example, their overgrown grass in their front yard makes their house an abomination to the neighborhood. The last misused form of there is T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. This form of there is a contraction for they are. For example, they are going to the movies. Or they're always sleeping in class, which reflects their poor GPA. Thank you for joining us on Commonly Misty's Words. Hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Well, that's our episode for today, guys. And I really hope you enjoyed all the stuff that we had. Don't know why I'm dancing. Whatever. Bye. <laughs>